Hi everybody, it's uh, Paul Waters here from the town of Inuvik. I uh, just wanted to uh, take some time and read a book to everybody that's uh, stuck at home. Uh, so today I'm going to be reading a book called The Darkest Dark. And it's a book that's actually written by uh, Commander Chris Hadfield, who's a Canadian astronaut. So uh, just a little bit about uh, Chris. He loves rockets and planets and pretending he's a brave astronaut exploring the universe. But there's only one problem though. At night, Chris doesn't feel so brave. He's afraid of the dark. But when he watches the groundbreaking moon landing on TV, he realizes that space is the darkest dark there is. And the dark is beautiful and exciting, especially when you have big dreams to keep you company. So this book is actually inspired by his actual childhood and how he was when he was a kid. So let's start. Uh, the Darkest Dark. There's Chris's house on an island. So here we go. So Chris was an astronaut, an important and very busy astronaut. When it was time to take a bath, he told his mother, I'd love to, but I'm saving the planet from aliens. When it was time to get out of the bath and go to bed, he told his father, Politely, because astronauts are always polite. Sorry, no can do. I'm on my way to Mars. An astronaut's work is never done, so astronauts do not like to sleep. And Chris tried, he really did, but his room was dark, very, very dark. The kind of dark that attracts the worst sort of aliens. But his parents meant it. Chris was going to sleep in his own bed tonight. His mom and dad checked under his bed and in the closet and even in his underwear drawer. They declared the room 100% alien free. They tucked Chris in they turned on the night light. They even gave him a special bell to ring if he was nervous. Well, he rang that bell an awful lot. Clang, 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 and he did it a lot. So they took away the bell. And then his father said something that worried Chris even more than the dark did. His dad said, one more peep, young man, and I'm afraid we'll be too tired to go next door tomorrow but tomorrow would be a very special day. Chris had to go next door. His life pretty much depended on it. That's how special a day it was gonna be. So Chris stayed in his own bed without a peep. It took a long time to fall asleep, but he did. And when he was sleeping, he had his favorite dream. He flew his spaceship all the way to the moon. <laughs> There's Chris flying his spaceship on the moon. And the next day, it seemed to last forever. But finally, when the moon was shining over the lake and the summer wind was ruffling the leaves of the trees, Chris ran next door. The house was already full of people, all gathered around the TV. The only TV on the whole island, actually. Chris found a spot where he could see through the crowd, and what he saw was astronauts. Real, live astronauts. On the actual far, far away moon. They were wearing puffy white suits and jumping for joy. Jumping so high because there was so much less gravity there. The grown-ups huddled around the TV were amazed. Their whole lives long, they'd never expected to see this sight. Even Chris, who had been to the moon just the night before, was amazed. He never really noticed how dark it was there. Outer space was the darkest dark ever. Oh, did I miss a page? 
there. Everybody's watched after the TV show. They went outside to look at the moon where the astronauts were. That night, Chris did a little experiment. He turned off all the lights in his room and even the nightlight. It was still dark. It was very, very dark. There were still shadows that looked a little, well, alien. And so nothing had changed. But Chris had changed. He'd seen that the darkness of the universe was so much bigger and deeper than the darkness in his room. But he was not afraid. He wanted to explore every corner of the night sky. For the first time, Chris could see the power and mystery and velvety black beauty of the dark. And he realized, you're never really alone there. Your dreams are always with you, just waiting. Big dreams about the kind of person you want to be. Wonderful dreams about the life you will live. Dreams that can actually come true. And that's true because Chris actually became an astronaut and went into space. And here's some pictures of Chris when he was a little kid, when he was with his family, when he first became a pilot. And these are pictures of him as an astronaut. His first spacewalk, he was the first Canadian astronaut to actually do a spacewalk, and that was in 2011. And there he is playing his guitar on the space station. <laughs> so there we are. That is The Darkest Dark by Chris Hadfield. Bye.